Hey guys, welcome to this course. In this course, we shall study about immunology. Uh, this course is presented by me, Navneet Sharma. You can know more about me from here. You can follow me on this link. And if you like the lesson, kindly rate, review and recommend. Uh, now beginning with the lesson. Uh, the ability of organism to resist almost all types of toxins that damage the tissues and organs is called as immunity. So what basically immunity is, is the, uh, the resistance to resist all types of antigens and toxins or pathogens etc. Okay. So the study of resistance towards disease is called as immunology. Now the protection against infectious disease is the immune response which is concerned with the reaction of body against any foreign antigen or any uh, pathogen like bacteria, viruses etc. Uh, now the types of immunity. Immunity against infectious diseases is of two important types namely innate immunity and acquired immunity. Okay. So have a careful look at this diagram. Uh, so you might not get uh, you might get confused basically sometimes. Okay. So immunity is of uh, two types which is innate that is the inborn immunity and acquired immunity. Now the acquired immunity is of two types so that is active immunity and passive immunity. Uh, active immunity which is produced through the own antibodies is of uh, two types which is natural that is um, through the exposure to any infectious agent naturally or artificial uh, through immunization and uh, passive immunity is also of uh, two types which is provided through the ready-made antibodies uh, natural which is provided through the maternal antibodies through placenta or colostrum and artificial uh, in which antibodies uh, from other sources are uh, uh, obtained okay now beginning with the innate immunity innate or native immunity is the resistance to infections which an individual processes uh, possesses by the virtue of his genetic and constitutional makeup okay so basically it is the type of immunity that is uh, provided uh, through the uh, through the birth itself okay it is not affected by prior contact with microorganisms or immunization okay the various organs in human body like epithelial surface blood and tissues are naturally adapted for exhibiting immunity natural defense in the body is also mediated by uh, microphages and macrophages etc means uh, look at uh, our skin our uh, uh, mucous membranes and uh, other acidic environments in our uh, gastrointestinal tract etc these are uh, the form of innate immunity okay which is which are provided from the birth itself uh, now the uh, natural defense in the body is also mediated by microphages which are also called as polymorphonuclear leukocytes okay uh, pmnl or uh, and uh, macrophages which uh, include histiocytes reticuloendothelial cells and monocytes okay we will uh, study more about them uh, acquired immunity now the immunity that is acquired by an individual after birth is known as acquired immunity. It is of two types namely active immunity and passive immunity. Now the active immunity. If the resistance is developed as a result of antigenic stimulus, it is called as active immunity. Okay. For example, a person who has recovered from an attack of measles develops natural immunity against measles. Okay. Uh, so the active immunity is gained through the uh, memory cells in, in our body we will uh, study about them later okay so this is the natural basic function of our body okay to to, uh, to get resistance from foreign particles or pathogens okay next we have uh, it can be of two types uh, natural active immunity and artificial active immu immunity uh, natural active immunity is provided by the developing antibodies against an antigen as a result of natural infection okay and uh, artificial active immunity it is provided by developing antibodies against an antigen as a result of an artificial infection and that is vaccination of dead or attenuated microorganisms attenuated means uh, uh, attenuation is the process which results in the loss of pathogenicity without the loss of antigenicity which means that uh, uh, it uh, it loses its pathogenicity means it becomes harmless it is not dead but it, it, it just becomes harmless uh, but 
the antigenicity is uh, not removed means it uh, it is still functions as a foreign particle in our system so that our system can identify it and uh, form the antibodies against it okay so in this way artificial active immunity is provided and it is used by us uh, in various vaccination and immunization programs okay now the passive immunity if the resistance is transmitted to a recipient in a ready made form it is known as uh, passive immunity okay in this immunity the antibodies are just provided to to the individual from outside okay so you can uh, first uh, first of all have a look at the diagram active immunity uh, it, it is in the, first of all naturally acquired immunity in which uh, any pathogen attacks the body and the body just uh, develops an antibody against it okay uh, and artificially an artificially acquired uh, active immunity uh, the, in in a serum an attenuated or a dead pathogen is uh, uh, pro projected inside our body and uh, in the passive immunity we will study we are studying it uh, uh, in the following way if the resistance is transmitted to a recipient in a ready made form okay it is also of two types a natural passive immunity and uh, artificial passive immunity immunity transfer from mother to child passively through a placenta or colostrum it is called as natural passive immunity uh, now through the placenta it is uh, uh, it is provided to in the uh, in the stages when the embryo is in in means in which uh, the child is in the form of uh, embryo or it is inside the mother and connected uh, through uh, to the mother through the placenta and the colostrum colostrum is the uh, uh, the first milk that mother provides to the child okay so through these uh, the uh, natural passive immunity is provided to the child artificial passive immunity the transfer of antibodies from an immunized donor to a non immunized recipient okay so someone already immunized for a particular disease uh, with, who has uh, developed some antibodies against that disease so these antibodies are collected from the blood serum of uh, that patient and are transferred to the uh, non-immune uh, recipient patient okay then we have the acquired immunity is also of two types uh, named as uh, uh, humoral immunity or b-cell immunity and cell mediated immunity or t-cell immunity that is b-lymphocytes and t-lymphocytes uh, these are the two cells uh, that provide these kind of immunities humoral immunity the term humor refers to the plasma and lymph the humoral immune system defends mostly against bacteria and viruses that enter the body fluids now the humoral immunity is an antibody mediated immunity in which the B lymphocytes produce antibodies which through various kind of reactions stops or kills the specific antigen okay uh, next we have the cell mediated immunity in the cell mediated, immu uh, mediated immune system is carried out by highly specialized cells which work against pathogens including fungi and protista that have invaded the host cells the system also reacts against transplants it is thought to be important in protecting the body from its own cells if they become cancerous okay uh, it is provided by t cells or the t lymphocytes uh, now this is a diagram you can uh, refer to that uh, in the foreign foreign body enters uh, into the our body there's a this is a macrophage it's called as a uh, this can be called as a mother cell uh, this sends information to the helper T cell. It has uh, receptors like CD4, and in the humoral, humoral immune response, uh, these uh, helper T cell help the B cell to uh, through cytokines uh, to uh, develop some uh, receptors uh, against the foreign body, and uh, and the plasma cells are formed, which against uh, which have the uh, ant antibodies, and uh, they uh they work against the foreign ant uh, antigen and uh, kill or uh, subdue it okay uh in the cellular response uh, the helper t cell produce the cytotoxic t cells these produce cytotoxin uh, hormones or cytotoxin uh, enzymes so which uh, uh, which degrade the body uh, de degrade the foreign particle okay this is performed by the active cytotoxic t cells in the later stages Okay, so this lesson ends here. In the upcoming lesson, I'll be making about making a, I'll, I'll be telling you about these cells of immune system in detail. So thank you guys for watching this lesson. Uh, keep learning.